Dear friends, in today's session, we are going to solve problems on correlation. If x and y set of all data is given to you, how to find the correlation coefficient between these two set of variables? We are going to use Colpierson method. Before going into the session, let us recall the formulas. So this is the formula we are going to use for solving the correlation problems. Do you remember the properties of correlation? When you add or subtract something with the data, when you divide or multiply with the data, the correlation coefficient will not change. This is the property people have found to solve the correlation problems when the numbers are very very huge. This is the other formula. So in this session, we are going to see both the methods. Those who didn't see the basic definition and properties of correlation, please see the correlation basics video. The link is available in the description and come back to the problems. When the covariance and standard deviation are given in your problem for the MCQ, you can use this formula. R is equal to covariance of x, y divided by standard deviation of x and standard deviation of y. So now let us go into the problem. Let us consider this problem. You will be given set of value x and y. We can solve this problem directly since we are in the modern age. We have the use of scientific calculators. We are in the modern age. We can use the scientific calculator to solve the problem very easily for exam point of view. But at the period of 18th century when the method was invented, it is very tough to solve the problems when the data is very very huge. So what they use? They introduced a new variable u and v instead of x and y. Since the correlation does not change when you do addition or subtraction or division and multiplication of the data, what they can do? They will take x minus 65 or any number. It need not to be 65. It is going to be any number which is close to x variables such that the data of x and y should be very small. Now similarly, you can take y and you can subtract with 65 or 66. Now we can generate the new variable u and v which consists of single digit and we can easily solve the problem. So this is one of the way but what we are going to do since we have a calculator we don't want to worry about introducing a new variable u and v. We are going to solve the problem as it is. So we can use the first formula. It is very simple whenever there is a correlation or regression problems. You just make a table which consists of these five columns. x, y, x square, y square and x, y. So x and y are given in the question. Let us fill this data. And you can easily find x square, y square and x, y using your calculator. Either you feed the formula x square, y square, x, y or you can go for direct multiplication. So it is going to be very, very simple. So let us fill the data one by one. At the end, finally, we have to sum all the columns and you have to fill the data. So now all the data are ready. Let us go on right one by one. Very very important thing is n. Many students who do errors in n. See whenever I want to count n either I have to count the variable x or I have to count the variable y. You should not count both. Here I can see the count of variables in x is 8. So n is 8. You should not count both x and y and you should not write n equal to 16 which leads to the total confusion. Okay, now let us go. So n is 8, summation x, summation y, x square, y square, x, y, everything we found from the table. Now we had the classical formula, the correlation coefficient between x and y. Now substitute all the data here and calculate the value. You found the correlation coefficient is 0. 0.5. 603. So that means x and y are positively correlated. And this is not the only method to solve the problem. We are going to solve the same problem in the 
second method that is with a different formula for this formula i need the average x bar and y bar and in my point of view it is not advisable for exam point of view because when we found x bar and y bar they are nothing but the averages sometime it might be decibel so uh, it is very tough to do all the computations if you do one small error which leads to the total damage in your correlation coefficient value so let us see but anyway you can learn this method so first we have to find the average x bar and y bar then write the x and y you have to find x minus x bar whole square y minus y bar whole square x minus x bar into y minus y bar where x bar and y bar are the average values of the variables x and y respectively so once you found it you have to write all the data and then we know the formula the formula is very simple finding all the values are little time consuming i'm not saying it is tough it is time consuming so once you substitute you'll be getting the same answer so my suggestion is go for the formula 1 just found x y x square y square x y and use the correlation coefficient formula substitute the values get the solution if the numbers are suppose x and y are very big for example it's like four digit then also still you can use the calculator but if you want you can transform the problem into a new variable by subtracting a suitable value for x and as well as value for y and it is need not to be you should take the same value which is subtracting with x and y you can take any value which makes your problem very comfortable and simple in a single digit if you are comfortable with your calculator then you don't need anything just proceed as it is so now similarly other problems so uh, i am interested in this so at the end of the problem they will ask comment on the relationship so as usual we solve the problem in our way we found the correlation coefficient is minus 0.6619 so you can comment x and y are negatively correlated that means x and y travel in opposite direction similarly find the correlation coefficient comment on the relationship so as usual the same procedure method one which i said you can find the correlation coefficient now i can say 0.19 it is highly positive correlation so therefore i can make a comment rainfall and the production of the crops are highly positive